Alrighty. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's get it popping. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, I mean, it's not even official, but I, I'm calling this the Pulse Check Podcast. I don't know. We we have so many different names for this. Me and Joe and Evan, we're gonna we're gonna come up with something, but I don't know. We'll figure it out, man, as we go along. But guys, today we are putting together a little podcast discussing a very hot topic that in my opinion, is considered taboo in the gaming world and that nobody talks about. And so we got my boy above me, Mr. Joe Wo. What's going on, Joe? We got my boy. Excited to be here, man. Me, Mr. Evan. And then we got my boy, hey, right here, Mr. Reese off to the top right corner. This guy, for those of y'all who don't know, Mr. Rated was an ex Call of Duty pro. He knows a lot about this subject and it's a big reason of why we wanted him to come on to the, to the yeah, podcast today. Yeah, I can today. speak on both sides of it. Yeah, he's going to talk on both. And uh, yeah, so... I think first and foremost, guys, let's, let's, uh, I think let's, guys, so today we're going to be talking about Adderall in the gaming community, more specifically Warzone community, right? Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be completely just blunt with y'all. I literally thought that this number was like, like minuscule, maybe like 5% of people in the Warzone scene, 10% until I had a huge, you know, a, a rude awakening and I think I found out some stuff. But before we get into that, I kind of rate it. If you kind of want to take the floor and talk about, you know, your experiences with all that, you know, and, well, and so forth. It's re it's really bad in the CDL. Yeah. Like, I would say it's closer to. I don't want to say nearly everyone's taking it. Well, they had. Well, I'd say closer uh, to like 90 percent. Hugh, yeah. Hugh, yeah. Hugh came out and said that like they were like forcing him to take it, right? Well, yeah. Well, it's because like yeah, when your team are taking it, and then like you know you have a bad map. And right, 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 like, right, 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 right. Yo, right. yo, yeah, just here. I've got something for you, bud. Don't worry. Don't stress it. Oh shit! It's like that. But, Wait, yeah, I'd say question, was, rated. Yeah, go on. Who? I mean, I mean, obviously, don't say who. But how do they? Uh, how do they? How does everybody get that? Is there like one I mean, supplier that's like? Is there yeah, like one just, supplier that's like, yo, that's the guy? I mean, it's not one, but yeah, there's like a I'll couple. Be honest, I'm gonna be honest, show. People. It's it's easy, bro. It's so it's yeah, so easy it's to get. So easy. Okay, so and, then, so and then you just ask somebody who's getting it, and you're like, oh yeah, just have this guy, and he'll sort you out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, so yeah. okay, so here is my um. Uh, before we even continue any further, I want to throw this out there. Like, um, if you have ADHD and you are prescribed, I saw a bunch of crazy takes on the DL. Um, I, we are not a sh like shaming anybody who has ADHD or is prescribed Adderall, right? Like, if you have, like, if you if you are required to take that, no shame on you whatsoever, right? Like, we're talking about people who abuse the, the you know the drug. They don't have and, prescriptions. Yeah, and they're going out of their way to buy it. Yeah. Okay, but then I also I hear mean, this. There's also to people, even the people who are prescribed are still taking way. Way too much. Than, yeah. So like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not 100 percent on how much prescriptions is. I've never had one, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty low, and they're going triple digits. Like in. I mean, yeah. I mean, from college too. I can tell you that in college, it's. I mean, same thing for gaming, but college is very bad for the same thing of like where some people would get prescribed and then not even take it and just sell it yeah. because all the college kids would be like, "Yo, like." I can make money. I mean, obviously like a lot of college kids had to have jobs. I had to have a job and make money, but they know like I'll get prescribed and just sell it to my friends and make a ton of money during like exam week, during exams, wow. like, and like make stupid amounts of money because in college it's like the same thing, like abuse like crazy. Yeah. yeah I, I think so. So this is kind of like where the conversation, I guess we're going to start this is like, there are, people let's let's put aside cdl right let's just go specifically warzone and we've seen with the past how cdl you know they, they now drug test right and but it doesn't change the fact of how Wait, easy it know? is I, i'm pretty sure from official? what it's like whenever, sure when i was I when know, i was I playing know. they were like oh yeah we're gonna start drug testing and then like to try and like scare people but it was never a thing can you drug test that? for adderall no, you yeah, can. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's an it's, it's an amphetamine. It's an amphetamine, yeah. Oh, uh, I guess, yeah, yeah. Because okay. they, they do it in like CS and that, but like whenever I, they, it might be actually a thing now, but whenever I was in the CDL, it was like, oh yeah, we're gonna start this just to try and make people stop. But yeah. I think they did because remember that whole thing with like who came out and they were saying that they, I, from what I remember is that they were testing, but they were they're saying like it's so easy to just get a prescription now. Like I was gonna really say that. Uh, yeah. yeah. So like. So if you're prescribed, does it mean that you can't take it or does it mean you're prescribed? It's fine. But then also if like as a kid, I remember even schools were like getting paid money to, to be like it, to prescribe people like with, with ADHD left and right. Because I had friends that I was like, I don't even think. And like back in the day, even like in middle school, things like that, like I feel like people were getting prescribed like crazy. But I heard schools were like making money the more they prescribed it. But I feel like 
Now it's like, if you're prescribed, can you still take it if you're in the CDL? But then can everybody just get a prescription? I feel like yeah. it's just. Yeah, I think you you can. Like if you're prescribed, I mean, there's nothing that, I, in my opinion, that any organization can tell you if that, like you are required to take that, you know, from a doctor, I'm pretty sure you're still allowed. So that comes into this, right? Like, I'm gonna be honest, maybe I'm naive. Maybe, I, you know, I don't, I don't know, you know, uh, but going into this, the last two years I've been competing in tournaments, right? And the entire time, I've had this discussion with like Evan and D before, like on the side. And I, you know, it raised, you know, with the whole hook situation happening, it raised an eye to, and I was like, you know, do, did, do you think that's happening in the war zone scene? And you know, Evan was like, it's probably more than you think. And Diaz was like, yo, it's probably more than you think. And I'm over here like, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think like nah. many people try that hard. Until, you know, until we'll get into that right now. But, but um, I mean, I guess I, I put it on Twitter and I put a poll and I said, what percentage of people do you guys think are taking Adderall to, you know, play better in these Warzone tournaments? And so, Joe, all the three of y'all, what do y'all think? What, what, you know, what do y'all I mean, think? To, I mean, to start off with, I think I saw, I think it was great to say this, but if you're talking about like Twitter tournaments, I don't think people are, but it depends on what kind of, if you're talking the 100Ks, I'm saying 50% or more, to be honest. Yeah. It, the big, the big boy. Now, if you're talking like the normal ones, like the 25Ks, I don't think so. But the big ones, like the World Series of Warzone, the 100Ks, all those, way more than you think, I think. I agree. I agree 100%. I think it's around, probably around like the 50% mark. Um, mm -hmm. I think, what, what is your poll finish at? It was like 50 to 75. Dude, I was so yeah, shocked. Yeah, but that's going to be skewed. Like, it is, yeah. it is. If, but if it, you put out a poll, how many streamers are cheers? Yeah. 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 No, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Right. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, bro, like, so, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I didn't expect this to go that crazy, but looking at it, bro, we have 25,000 votes on that thing. And That's wild. Right and now it's 45% are saying 50 to 75% of people. Um, So it's from zero to 25%, only 10% think that that meant that little people you take Addy. And then 22% of people think that 25 to 50% of people are taking it. 45% are from 50 to 70. And then 23% is from 75 to hundred. Um, yeah, I've, so, I've, I, ahead, or ahead. sorry, I've seen also what's actually a great point to kind of is a thing is for the smaller tournaments for the five Ks all those there actually may be more people than I think I thought that there wouldn't be uh, as much people but I would think too for the people that are trying to grow their name grow their brand kind of get their name out there they're going to be more turn the people in a hundred K because they are trying to grow a name and they yeah. feel like they have to take it to kind of win and be good which is a good yeah. point I I. I thought it would be less than 100Ks, but that's also a counter to be like more people may have to take it because they don't have a name yet. And that's how they feel that they can play good. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, so like, I guess, okay, we'll start off and um, I'm going to strictly say this. So if anybody's here, I'm not here to start drama. I'm here to discuss the subject and bring a lot of awareness because if nobody's familiar with the CDL scene and how big of a problem it was back in the day and how it changed so many people's lives and you know almost killed people. Um, and I, I care about the Call of Duty community, the Warzone community. So like, I don't want that to happen. And I think a lot of people are putting the side effects behind them, right? Um, but I, I, I'm not. I'm not going to say names. I'm not here to say, oh, this person is taking out of this person. I mean, the signs speak for themselves. I'm here to just say that. You know, I was recently informed by somebody very, you know, reputable that um, more than fifty. He believes fifty to seventy-five percent, and mm -hmm. he he has he has evidence um, to support that. Fifty to seventy-five percent of people competing in the Warzone scene right now are taking Addy. Um, he he went on to say that there are group chats of people finding ways to get Addy. If they're like, hey, if you need some, I can hook you up. And, and like group chats of trying to get people because there's a big 100K tournament in the next two weeks, three weeks. Hey, does anybody have some? That it, It's it's getting to that point, which- Damn, that's my, wild. In my and, opinion, that's kind of crazy. So, and on top of that, whoever is the person that's, that's, that's the one that's running those group chats, like if they get caught, if something happens, hopefully, fingers crossed, obviously it shouldn't be happening anyway. If somebody, if something happens to somebody that shouldn't be taking it, their pres their, and that's their prescription that they're selling to somebody and it happens to the person that's being sold to, that's like not like a small thing. Like that's prison. Like if something like, that's not a like no. little, like, oh my bad. Like that's like no. real life consequences. Like and for just to think you play better. So, and so after like, after going through that, and honestly, going through my forum of me tweeting out, seeing everything, I went and I peeped that and I had people like, all over like all, like all different competitors saying you'd be surprised how many if you think it's only like if you think it's only 25 percent, you think it's only 50 percent. like i'm even gonna go ahead and say like yo like 
I actually feel like it might be 75, obviously not 100, right? But 75 plus if everybody's tweeting that out, like that's kind of crazy to see that many people. I did not expect that many people from the war zone scene specifically to go out and be like, oh yeah, I I know this guy or not this guy, but I know people who do. And I, I don't know. That's crazy. That's I think crazy. The problem with the war zone scene is everyone kind of speaks to everybody. Yeah. Like I feel like everyone has somebody in each group and then it just takes one person to tell their group. True. Another person like <laughs> tell their group. Like everyone's kind of like connected to everyone. That's why yeah. I think it could be that bad. Like we're high schoolers dude all over again and, <laughs> nah facts <laughs> nah it's true and the the problem too is i think that like the warzone tournament scene it's not that it's not like uh, it's very like random like the, obviously like the, i'm not saying that twitter tournaments and stuff are bad that's great but i feel like obviously like with like big tournaments and stuff like there's no like even going on the side of like somebody cheating like there's no like official like group of, of like officials it's like no it, like if something goes bad like they're gonna check that and i feel like it's kind of like up in the air with group chats like kind of stuff like that that there's no like official like league that warzone could kind of back that with yeah it's hard bro it's hard like how do you regulate especially for warzone like even it's for cdl like everyone's at home yeah, yeah everybody's mm -hmm. at home you can't totally regulate impossible. that yep. I, so like it's okay let's say for, for example i know there's like I, two to three warzone lands right now in discussion you know behind the scenes and it's like if we're putting out crazy amounts of money, we're put, let's say two hundred thousand to three hundred thousand dollars for you know tournaments. Uh, do these tournament organizers, you know, be like, yo, there's gonna be random drug tests, and if you want to come compete, you know, like, that's, like oh. I said, that's what they used to do in the CDL. So I, I got word it's actually a thing in the CDL now. They huh. actually do test, but yeah, so that's what they would do when I played in the CDL. It'd be like, oh, we're we're gonna just randomly start pulling people and drug tests. So then everyone was like, well, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to run the risk that they just pull me behind stage after yeah. the game and like yeah so apparently they do actually do it in the cdl now though i think they that's said the right really? way to do it i think that's they the right said, way to do it though said there's still, so the person i asked said there's still a way around it though because people can apply to for exemptions apparently really oh shit. and testing. and then just go and then, they, and then they said get a prescription what, yeah that's exactly what he said he said that then you just go to the doctors and get a script super easy it's for guys yep. <laughs> see that's what i'm saying so it's like that and, and, and so how, okay for, let's say someone like like me and you, Joe, where our main priority is content creation, right? We're not like our main goal isn't to win everything, right? Like so, or even for other people who are legitimately trying to be really good at this game, and then they have people who are kind of cutting corners. What what are y'all's thoughts? Like yeah. like uh, what do y'all think about well, that? Well, there's li literally said. nothing that you could do, and on top of that, like even in college, I had friends that literally had no problems at all. Like they they even said like I'm doing this like make money, where you could. Literally go to a doctor, get prescribed, and people just sell it. Or there's people that were prescribed a long time ago, stop taking it, but they can just get the, the prescription just refilled and just talk to the same doctor and be like, yep, I'm good, everything's good. And they would just keep refilling it, refilling it. And it's like, yo, and they're getting paid for it. So I'm like, they're just saying, yeah, like, it's insane. Of, yeah, people yes, like, it's not. The CDL are like mega loaded, like loaded, loaded from selling it. I feel like we're like, we're really? talking like it's like mega a loaded, cheat code. Like, Okay, I'm yeah, so, so a lot of money. So, I'm be honest. I've never taken Adderall, so I don't know. So like, I don't, have you well, guys I, just got, I got like a, I got like a bunch of like quote unquote like pharmacists in here. I, I can't like confirm if they are or not, but they're saying like it's unnatural for a human to be able to like look at a screen for ten plus hours. So uh, it's like if we're playing like a two v two tournament, and it goes for twelve hours. You know what I mean? Like it's because it's all it's supposed to do is really is like help you focus, right? And like lock no, in. No, that shit. Keeps you up for business that, days, bro. That's what I was gonna say. Also, the number it, it one problem, up, it, like, it like helps you. It, like it doesn't like flick any like the sleep shit on, right? Well, the number one problem that I have is like if if we're gonna be doing a tournament like a two v two, and you're not on it, and then it's gonna be a fourteen hour, sixteen hour tournament. It does. You, Red Bull can only do so much. You can't be turned for it's like I, I think oh, if we're saying. doing two v twos, you shouldn't have like a two day tournament, a three day tournament. Where like if not, where you know, yo, I have a break for four hours. Like there's nothing it, it, when you hit that ten hour mark, or even I would say for me, sometimes like eight hours, seven hours. I'm checked, bro. I am cooked. I, I eat food and I'm like, yo, I'm tired now. And then yeah, some people, if they're on it, they're on 12, 14, 16 hours. Their peak passion, like me, at three hours. Don't, yeah. well, don't stand a chance, bro. Actually, that's why you're seeing so many more reverse sweeps in finals. Yeah, because yeah. So. Teams get to finals, and then it's usually, you're usually about 12, 13 hours deep. You've been sat there for a few hours, and you're getting tired. Like, mm -hmm. I've had, I'm, like, starting to yawn, and these kids are wide awake. 
They're like they, they finished the tour in <laughs> fourteen. Hour, they, they finished the tour in the fourteen hour tour, and then the wager check. You any wages? <laughs> yo, I'm like yo, no cam on there foaming at the mouth, bro. I'm like, dude, I. I'm like drooling on myself, and they're posting in the wager chat fifteen hours deep. You any wages? <laughs> I mean, after a tournament. The biggest thing, bro, is like, it's like, okay, I'm not even saying like it's okay, like if you're not prescribed, but it's like it's one thing to to take a normal dosage, bro. But like, I mean, this is a topic that's been, been discussed about in the CDL so much. It's like, you, after a while, that shit just don't hit you the same. So you're forced to take ten more milligrams, twenty more milligrams, and well, then it's just the same as anything, you build a tolerance. Yeah, you know. Yep. Yeah. It's, and 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 that's where the problem comes in is that. Once you start taking 20, like, oh, well, I'm, I'm, the, and, and once that starts to like, kind of, you've been taking 20, people are gonna be like, well, I'm not as cracked. Let me take 40. Okay. Let me take 40. Then next 60. And it comes to like unhealthy levels. And then they're like, I, I'm going to add caffeine in there. Like, bro, that is so bad for Especially you, man. Especially when these like, go for like 12 hours plus. Yeah. They're taking it all day. Yep. That's what, I, I agree. Like so a blast brought up a very good point. And it's like, bro, there's, there's 16 year olds taking this stuff now because they're trying to be like they're getting influenced they are let's say they're naturally cracked right they're getting influenced by their duos or by people in their circle to take that why because they're like yo this is gonna make you insane you know like, oh. like so you know great you saw blast to see he's an I'm idiot on this bro actually i'm on show just in case you're sponsored by an energy nah, i'm not sponsored by anybody you're good, you're okay, good. Be good. Uh, but like it's like it's like bro like like we're not even and Go ahead, go like ahead. you said about the about the, like if you're taking a normal prescribed amount for the people that are prescribed, you can function completely normal. It just helps them through their day to day. You're gonna sleep perfectly fine. Yeah. You're gonna do everything perfectly fine. The problem is is when people are not prescribed, taking an unhealthy amount that they shouldn't be taking, it becomes to where like they build that tolerance, like Grady said, and it comes to the point of where like it's unhealthy. It's they, it's literally they're they're killing themselves, bro. Like to win a two v two, like bro, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah, like, like I mean, so, said, so, the, other, the other problem is because everyone's connected, like I said. Like, everyone has one friend in each group chat. And then they're like, oh, this guy's taking it and he's frying every day, right? Yeah, but, well, who, who do I speak to? And then the next guy, like, right, he's taking it and frying every day. Like, who do I speak to? Yeah. I, 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 that's the thing, bro. It's, okay, okay. So, do you guys believe it helps you to that extent, right? Like, let's say you're not, you, you don't have ADHD and you're taking this. Does it, I mean, in my opinion, I think yes, because there's obviously a reason why, you know, at one point it was a huge problem in the CDL, right? And like now, like it's a huge, I mean, like now let's, it's starting to arise. It's going to be a huge problem in Warzone if, you know, if this shit continues. And so do you guys, does it, I've seen so many people like, oh, it doesn't even do that much to you. Or and I see people be like, bro, it's a literally makes you crash. If it didn't, drug. then it's a if, drug. Yeah, it's good for a reason. It's totally unfair. I mean, what do you mean? Yeah. Like. And then, and then if it's, it didn't matter, it wouldn't be such like a big thing where people are buying it off of people in college and get, and it, it, if it didn't matter, then it, there would be no market for it. It's like basically yeah. like legal meth. Like, right. it yeah, it's an amphetamine. It's an amphetamine. So like, like wait, it doesn't wait. make you a superhuman. Like you're not going to be like turned from someone average to like someone who's unbelievable, but it just makes the, it makes the good people more consistent. Like, cause you're just never down. Like you're just. And for Warzone, I'm gonna be honest, that's a big deal is whoever's the most consistent usually wins. So 100%. for a long period of time too. Yeah, yeah exactly. For a long crazy. And then These the time you get the eight, ten, hours. twelve. Yeah, it's like, bro, like I like like for the first like five, six, seven, eight hours, you're chilling, but once you hit that fourteen, you are you I'm making the most idiotic plays ever. I'm laying on four people. No way I died. Like, yeah, you died, idiot. What are you doing, bro? Like there's four there. Yeah, man, obviously. Oh, man. I mean, yeah, man, I, I, I guess I, 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 being honest, I guess I was oblivious and ignorant to the fact that there's that many people on it now. I'm, I'm I didn't think it, it was that many. I thought I it was think like so either. below 25%. Like I know, I, I know of a few, but I thought like, I didn't I mean, think like close to 50. Yeah. I actually, I, don't, I, I don't know of any, I mean, I just don't, I, I guess I don't pay attention enough, but I, I, I don't mean, know. I, I just don't really like go out and ask. It's one of those things that you got to be like in there in a circle to kind of like, you know, maybe they hide it from their own friends you never know like you yeah. know but for, based off you know the information that i'm getting it's like it's an excessive amount and these guys have group chats that you know that yeah, that's they're insane. distributing which is now i was like bro like i genuinely i remember i had this discussion with with uh with evan i was like bro i promise you it's probably maybe like like a handful like maybe yeah five. that's right no i thought like maybe 10 percent. like yeah no yeah. more than 10 percent yeah. 
So like, I, I, hearing that his group chats asking for suppliers. That's <laughs> That, that I mean, yeah, that's that's crazy that's to me to think about. Nuts. Uh, and like but I then said, also, not, it, like for, for that being said, it, that's scary because again, when people build up that tolerance to be taking as much as they're taking, whoever's supplying that, bro, they're putting themselves at a lot of risk because I don't know how they're doing. They're drive either way. However, they're getting it to people that are not or prescribed. If something happens, bro, which we've seen in the past, things have been happening. If that gets looped back to them, bro, that's like real life prison bro like you're like that's oh, like yeah, not like brother, a baby like dude, you know like you know what i'm saying amphetamine, brother. That is yeah like, that is like next level shit but I, I don't know man i don't know like so again going back to what do we like uh, us as like what do we do like are we, are we just being honest what, is it one what, of those what things can, what can we do yeah do we just roll regulating it? tournaments better bro i like, think how? that but how though yeah, we all know the tournaments like, no way to do anything yeah, i mean there's um, yeah, I mean, I mean, the only thing is land tournaments would be the only way, but obviously yeah, but the like thing about land is like impossible. Yeah, and and like for like land, it's like impossible to have a normal land all the time. Obviously, setups, flights, travel, like it'd be impossible. Like, we do pupil checks and shit, bro. Hey. <laughs> Put your face up to the cam right now. Yeah. I mean, it's literally impossible. Like, I, like I, yeah. we we did this in the CDL where like a small group of us were like public about like on stage main stage interview saying like it's a joke like and there's just and that's even when there's events like as your main thing and yeah. it took a decade for them to start testing people and that's for a cdl where their main thing is loud yeah yeah so it's like, like okay so so like for us okay imagine bro imagine people coming into the scene very like even me very uh, uh, i know nothing right i think everybody's playing fair like how does that affect somebody whose literal goal is to be the best in the game knowing Every single f tournament, they're at a disadvantage. Like, like truly, I think, I think the, the one thing is changing the formats of tournaments so they aren't so long. Because, like, you can be very good for, I would say, well, yeah, eight exactly hours. Said. It doesn't make and, them superhumans. Yeah, but once you hit that 14 hours, six, like, dude, no one, it doesn't matter what you're doing. I get, like, no one is going to be as turn as they were three hours deep as they are 16 hours deep, unless you're trying things. Yeah. And I'm not saying everybody, but I'm saying that it, like making the new formats for tournaments either like two or three days or like just different ways to do it where it's not like an all day thing, I think. This is tough too, because like the alternate to that would be like to what drink energy drinks, which is honestly just it, as bad. Just yeah. as bad. Yeah, it's just as bad. Bro, so there's days like, that there's days on tournament days. I'm like, yo, I drank seven Red Bulls today, bro. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not, like, bro, I'll, bro, I, bro, I, like, like, I'll sign up streaming. I'm dizzy in my heart. I'm like, yo, heart, give me one more day. I won't do it again, bro. Next day, turn. I'm like, I'm like, yo, just, just power through, baby, please, like one more day. Yeah, and I'm like, because like, because I know when you're ten hours deep, bro, I'm not drinking water. I'm getting gunned, bro. Like, I can't be drinking no Aquafina. I'm getting smoked. <laughs> like, I don't know what you like, you know. I'm getting gunned.